Next thing, let's generate a new migration to add the ammo to the level tables because we want all level to have some different ammo. Let's say that is a integer and the feed is ammo. And let's add some comment. And let's say that the amount price will be after the level column. Let's run the migration. When migration run, let's close all things that we open. And let's go to the navigation menu, the view, and let's say that we want to duplicate the dashboard to write a new menu. And the new menu will be the levels, and the route will be levels. And let's go to the weapon PHP and define this route. Let's say that for the levels, we want to add some comment. And here, we bottom will be the level routing. Let's say that here we want to how to use the prefix method. Let's say that we will want to have all things in the group, and this group we have some functions will who will return many different routes. The first route will be this one, and we will use a controllers. But let's add the name of the route now let's go to console and generate the, the controller the level controller when controller generated let's go here and add the controller and it's not a yes controller it's a level controller And let's say that by default we will use the index method. Let's duplicate this many times for the different method that we will use. After this, the second will be the create method for create a new level. And here we want to have the edit method and we want to pass the level and add the edit after this let's add the edit at the end the last one will be the update method and here the route will be called input and here instead of edit we call the update and here the, the world name will be levels dot update. Here add the name of the edit. Here let's say that we don't want to have an index method, we want to have a create method. And here we want to have the edit method and bottom we want to have the update method when this is done let's go to the controller the level controller and create all of this method the first method is the index method by default you return a view that will that we are in the levels folder. Let's duplicate this 
to generate with, with different view, with different method. The last method will be the add date. And in parameter, we want to have a request. For make the validation and the second parameter will be the level the level that we pass in the route and we don't hear here we don't want to return a view we want to update the level here we don't want to the index method we want to have the edit method And let's part here the level. Let's call the level view the edit view and let's save let's send the level variable to this view. Here is not the index, let's say that we want to have a create method. And let's say that here we want to have a create file. Now let's come back to the update and make the value all fill all validation for our update. Let's say that in first we want to have some validation and we want to have we want the level to be required. Let's say that we want to have a level ammo to be required too. And here another validation is that is in integer. If this condition are respect. We want to update the level. And the new level will be the level which comes from the request. Same thing for the amount. After all of this file are defined, let's see that we want to solve the level. And when save, let's say that I want to redirect to the level route. The route, the route will have, will have the name of levels. Let's say that you have some message. Now we need to generate all of the views. For make this, let's create a new a new folder that we will call levels. And in this levels folder, we create different view. The first, the first will be the index. The second will be the create and the last one will be the update or the edit. Let's generate some live wire component for display all of the levels that are being saved in our database. Let's go to the let's go to the Live wire, yes. Let's go to the index method. Uh, let's go to the settings and take the content of all of the settings. We want to have the same design, so we need to take the same thing here and go to the index and pass it. And let's go to the create, let's go to the edit, let's go to the setting. And let's say that instead of level. The content of a setting we put it in the levels live wire. Let's say that the loop will be the levels and the levels will be renamed as level. Let's clean it here. We want we don't we have any active field for the levels. Remove this colon, we don't need it. The level, we need the level and the amount.
let's go to top and remove the statues header and let's say that here instead of statue we want to have a out and here we want to have a levels and here is not new years is new level and the route will be levels and we create name let's say that here we want to say that we are levels info and here is to my message by adding some level now let's go to live wire and open the levels file let's say that you want to get all levels and we will use the level model and we want to get the last level with some pagination Let's send the level to the view with a compact method. Let's go to browser and refresh it. We have a new link on top. And when we click on it, we go to the create method. It's not good. We we also we've made some mistake. Let's go to Review, let's see, that here is levels. And let's close this. Let's go to the web.php. And for the create method, we forget to add the name of the route. And here is levels.create. Let's go now and refresh. And now, if we go on level, we have a level view, it doesn't appear, we forget something. Let's go to the index here, instead of setting, let's call the levels component. And here, we is not the setting, it's the level. Let's go and refresh. And now we got, we get the levels view. Let's continue and, and work on the create levels button. So we need to go to live wire and generate a new component. For this component we will call a level create and when click enter it take a time and when generate it we will go to years create and copy the content of live wire and pass it in the level create new file that it be generated. And here instead of add year is add level and we all will consider the level not the year let's remove this we don't need it we duplicate it we use it like this here is not the school years is the level level price we use this for the amount of the level and for the wire motor we price let's remove the placeholder let's go to top and remove this placeholder we don't need it and here we don't have this we have a level let's go to the model and replace just by level Let's go to level create a live wire and so let's declare, let's declare a variable with level variable and the target variable. Come back to the create method and and replace price by the amount. When done, go to Yes, create and copy the content of a store function and pass in if you level create function.
it will make us win some time. Here we don't have a year, we want to have a lever. Every lever will be unique. And here is not the year model, it's a level model. Here the level will be level. And the amount will be the amount. Bottom, let's change redirect. Here we redirect to levels and change the message by level add. Let's make some extra space. Let's make some space here. And let's go to the index and And take the content of here, create, go to levels, create, pass it here, and change level years create by level create. Here is not add new year, it's add new level. Let's go to website and refresh to see the change. Let's click on new level and we fold on this form. Let's see if all will be work. Let's add some level. Let's add some price. Let's add the level. And we forget to remark as image. Let's go to level and declare a protected guarded field to an empty array. Now let's it and see that level saved. It worked.